In the last video, we ran Appium Doctor after installing Appium and Node.js. After running Appium Doctor, we got a few warnings that several tools were not installed. These warnings were related to iOS and Android development, with the first three being related to iOS and the second set being related to Android. We'll focus first on installing the iOS requirements. The first error states that Xcode is not installed, so let's go ahead and install that. First, we need to open up the App Store. To do that, we'll go to our Spotlight Finder and search for App Store. This is the first time I've configured the App Store, so it's going to ask me a few questions. But if I search for Xcode, you can see it's the first result in the list. And I'll just click Get and install the app. Enter my Apple ID and password, and I can see that Xcode is now installing. Xcode is a fairly large piece of software, so it takes a little bit of time to download. Let's skip through to after it's done installing. Okay, now that I have Xcode installed, I can go ahead and open it up and run through the configuration. I need to agree to some licenses. And the first thing it will do is spend a little bit of time installing some components for us to use the software. Xcode has now finished downloading its required tools, so we can get started with it. We can go ahead and close out of this splash screen and go up to our Xcode preferences. In here, we want to start the download for the iOS 11.2 simulator. We'll go to Components, and you see we have all these simulators available for us to use. We'll use the latest, which is 11.2. Chances are a new simulator has come out, so you may not see 11.2 as the most recent version. It may be farther down the list. While the simulator downloads, there are two other tools we need to install. Let's run Appium Doctor again to see our latest output. You can see Xcode now states that it's installed, but we're still missing the command line tools for Xcode and Carthage. The command line tools can be installed by running Xcode select dash dash install and responding to a few prompts. While that downloads, let's install Carthage. Simply search for Carthage iOS, and the first result shown should be the Carthage GitHub page. You can scroll down and see the instructions for installing Carthage. If you have Homebrew installed, you can simply run brew install Carthage or use their latest release from their download page. The download is now ready, so let's go ahead and run it. You may have security settings that prevent you from running installers from unidentified developers. To get around this, you'll need to go to your system preferences and choose security and privacy. There you'll notice a message about Carthage being blocked, so we'll click open anyway. We can close this window as we shouldn't need it. We'll run through the standard installation and see that Carthage was installed successfully. Let's check on our Xcode install. There's still a couple minutes remaining, so let's wait on that. So we've got the simulator still waiting to download, but we do have the Xcode command line tools, which should have installed, and Carthage, which should have installed. So if we decide to run Appium Doctor again, it should be a little bit happier. You can see that it states that both that Xcode, Xcode command line tools, and Carthage are all found. So it's really happy with our iOS setup. The only thing remaining to do is finish the simulator download, which we'll let run in the background while we finish installing everything else. This completes the iOS setup. Again, we needed to install Xcode, download the latest simulator, get Xcode command line tools installed, and install Carthage. If you don't plan on testing in Android, you can go ahead and skip the next video as it's not required for iOS testing.